Hello, today, seeing. I see where you look quite well today. I hope you combed your hair and you look quite nice. But aside from that, I hope you want to learn something new today because today we're making guacamole. Guacamole originated from Mexico and it's really well known everywhere. It's like ceviche, but it's a dipping sauce. But aside from that, the Aztecs made it when you know, the Aztecs were alive. And instead of guacamole, which we say now, it used to be called ajarimole or something like that. I'm not really great with that. So, what is guacamole and what are some benefits from it? Aside from you can feed it to a baby, hoping they won't cry. Guacamole is really healthy. And aside from the great fibers and great proteins that come from it, it has good grease. That's one one of those words you're not combined with to each other. Especially when we made hamburgers. That's just weird. And the grease coming out of that is not that great. So, but yeah, this is really great. You know what? I wanna I found this out today. Okay, so we have everything green, right? This, one, this is green, this is green, this is green, this is red. This, if I had a white onion, you know, it would be white. But, assuming this is a white onion, this would all make the color of Mexico. Yeah, or Italy, but we're mostly thinking of Mexico because it originated from Mexico. So, here, here we are. But now, aside from that, let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need, obviously, avocados. Yeah, some jalapenos. If you don't like spicy food, just don't add them. Even though it sucks to be you. Uh, a, a purple onion, or you could use a white onion. Whatever onion you got, just use them. A very big lime. Yep. Look at this bad boy. It kind of fits. Just, yeah. Fills up my hand. And some Roma tomatoes. Today I learned so much about tomatoes. I am sharp as many types of tomatoes but yeah that's all what you're gonna need yeah very simple dish very easy but uh, aside from that let's start cooking let's prepare uh, we are taking our time to do uh, 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 as you can see we have some cilantro sorry uh jalapeno here's a tomatoes 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 there's salt you may be asking, why is there so much? You're gonna see why we put so much. Here's the last thing, uh, you can obviously cut the And yeah, it's so sh I bet you the video is gonna be so short, I never got into you. But here's the lime, this is the first thing we're gonna talk about right now in video. Yay, now you get to see some action, right? It's so exciting, so pumped, right? Grab this, put it here, put, put this here so the juice comes out. I'm using all my force. You can see the food of juice in the food of the food. You can see the food of the And as we can see, that we have extracted all of our lemon, lime, and the way lemon itself. So yeah, that's all of that. Now, next we're going to do is throw this away. Okay. Okay. And we're going to start cutting our. Uh, there's a pit inside, so let's do it as a circle. Okay, right now. And it cuts straight. Right there you go. And, oops, there we go. See, there's a pit. Now we're going to take that out. Now we're going to take this one first because this has pit lips and I'm scared of cutting myself. And cut out our edges so we can get out the edges. We have our thin cut, we're going to use our spoon, our big spoon. Comically large spoon. And take it out. That's out. Now, we're going to do the same. 
same thing, but you need to pick and we're gonna you need to take the pit out because no one eats pits. I hope you don't. Please don't. Please don't bring me. Please don't eat the pit. You have that out, let's first get the room. There we go. Now we're gonna do for our next work mode. Same thing. Different avocado. Yup, I realized what I just said. Not guacamole. We're not three steps of this thing. Different avocado. Same, same stuff. Different. Try to do something risky. Yes. I can't do that. Sorry. Believe it or not, we are already halfway done. So now with our avocado. Hey, well, we are continuing on with our guacamole journey by now just mashing everything. Yep. Our goal right now is to beat every single avocado into a pulp. Well, not in the pulp, just beat your avocados. As you see, our thing's still done. So, uh, I'm gonna use this magically lifted thing that came out of nowhere. And you know, get through this stuff. You know, I'm gonna put this somewhere to help. And then we're gonna put our already all of the juice out in the line. Pour this stuff in the line. And we're going to hit it, work it a little bit more. And don't use this, just at this point, just use this for me. Okay, at this point, we're just going to, you know, move it with a spoon. Like I said, if you don't own one of those, use spoon or fork, whatever you got, just mash it. Now, yes, there's the one inside. That's why it's so different. Right? We're done with that. Then we're gonna add our. Claro que sí. <laughs> we're gonna add our cilantro. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, no. I think that's it. Alright, then we're gonna move it again. Rocket mode should be really changed to an arm workout because oh my god, we're using our arms a lot. Right after that, we're gonna add some jalapenos. And that's it. We're gonna move again. Like I said, what you're gonna do is a lot of moving. barely see or feel that this is this. So after that, we're gonna add our tomatoes. I'm gonna take the smart move out and just, you know, I'm gonna stop there. As you can already expect, if you cannot, we're gonna move it. Okay, we're gonna I wanna show you a small after I put you might be asking before I put the salt, yeah, there's a lot of salt, but you might be asking, oh, why are you putting that much salt? But remember, we're moving everything around, so, yeah, keep that in mind. But technically, all the ingredients we are using, except for the onions, are our fruits. So, technically, what you are eating are mostly fruits, so this could technically be considered a fruit salad dipping. Yep, now we've assumed that we put our stuff there and we're gonna put a bit of onions. You know, you can you can put your amount on your own amount. I'm not really much of an onion fan, that's why I put so little. But if you are, you know what to do for this stuff. Right, lastly we move. 
That is quite literally it. If you don't believe me, that's all. Literally for a this. And next, we're gonna... Okay, after that, yeah. This is all. You can add a little bit more, you know, a little bit. Remember, this is your own choice. You can choose anything you want to put. You want to put a big amount of onion, put a big amount of onion, a big amount of salt, put a big amount of salt. Whatever your choice is. And that should be all for it. So, before we finish this video, let's plate our dish. Welcome back. And you see that we have plated our guacamole. Uh, it, it is very known to the point where the U.S. eat it in the Super Bowl. That's crazy, right? To, to be known for eating in the Super Bowl while you're watching the Super Bowl. So, yeah. This, I know how to make it. I just never got to try it out. You know? So, today, aside from making guacamole, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a live reaction of me eating guacamole for the first time. You know what, I'm gonna eat this. I can see now why this is part of the Super Bowl. This is really great. I'm gonna go for another one. Uh, I know. You can feel the lime, you can feel the onions, you can feel the tomatoes, you can feel the cilantro, and so on. Mm. That's really great, that's all for today. I'm gonna see you next week, you know, I'm gonna check it out.